Dr. Tellis, what is an aneurysm? Um, aneurysms in, in the brain um, are bubbles or blisters that form on blood vessels. They can occur for a number of reasons, um, uh, including high blood pressure, family history, or even tobacco use. They often happen at places where uh, blood vessels uh, separate or branch, and they oftentimes can be uh, found incidentally. And what is the, the risk to the patient uh, if an aneurysm isn't detected? Uh, aneurysms uh, can, uh, can bleed or leak into the brain, uh, resulting in uh, what we call strokes. Uh, and uh, they can lead to neurological problems and other difficulties. One of the most exciting things that you're doing now is using endovascular coiling to treat aneurysm. Tell us a little bit about it. Uh, endovascular coiling is a, a procedure that's an alternative to, to uh, open surgery for patients who have uh, brain aneurysms. It's a procedure that's performed uh, through a small incision in the groin and uh, uh, catheters as well as uh, smaller catheters are fed into the arteries of the brain and the aneurysms are occluded uh, from the inside with uh, uh, these uh, micro wires or micro platinum wires and uh, it's an alternative uh, for uh, patients who uh, are not candidates for open surgery or are better suited for this type of procedure. So for a patient who's having endovascular coiling, what can they expect? The procedure is, uh, is a minimally invasive procedure. Uh, the length of stay in the hospital is less than a traditional surgery for brain aneurysms. And recovery time is faster. Uh, patients oftentimes will be able to resume their normal activities uh, a few days after the procedure. Uh, although there's, there's, their only incision is a small incision in the leg, uh, they've really had brain surgery. When one of your patients has the endovascular procedure, are they usually an emergency patient or are they seeking outpatient treatment? Some can be uh, emergency procedures. There's about 30,000 uh, ruptured aneurysms in the country a year, so they can present to the emergency room after they've already bled. Um, other procedures can be performed electively, meaning that they are found incidentally. Uh, the procedure is done under general anesthesia. Um, it's done in the biplane uh, radiology suite uh, with x-rays uh, and, uh, and contrast. As opposed to an operating room? As, as opposed to a traditional operating room, correct. Is the endovascular procedure only used to treat aneurysms or are there other applications? It can be used for uh, other things including arteriovenous malformations, um, other vascular malformations of the brain, uh, carotid stenosis uh, and also can be used for acute intervention uh, in treatment of uh, patients with ischemic stroke and also uh, to treat uh, uh, certain types of tumors of the brain. How does the endovascular procedure work when treating a stroke patient? Uh, the procedure can work if the patient presents with an occlusion of a blood vessel in the brain and uh, through the endovascular procedure there is a way to attempt to open the artery or the blood vessel that is supplying the brain that has been occluded. And that can also be done with small uh, wires and catheters. Mm -hmm.